Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. You know, every now and then I come across a study that I cannot wait to share with you. And if there's ever a study that's going to give us this sense of possibility and openness and ready to really evolve our lives based on something that's super practical, really easy to understand, and if we take the trust walk and integrate it, it's literally guaranteed to transform our life. Now, it's a pretty it's a pretty strong opening, right? And this is all about the word zest. Z-E-S-T. Now, it's kind of an old school word. In fact, that etymology goes back literally thousands and thousands of years. And it's really all about vitality and vigor and enthusiasm and just a you know, a way of leading life that is just coming from our hearts that is fully open to all possibilities and level of curiosity as well. And this is really interesting. This comes out of the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Seligman, who runs the positive psychology wing there, he's an amazing human being. He's basically trying to find out all these different things that we can be doing based on really good research that really will predictably transform our life, bring more positivity into our being. And basically what he's found out is that this virtue or attribute or character trait of zest is literally the number one driver for literally cultivating well-being. And that, I mean, that's a strong statement, right? This is all about cultivating well-being and zest being shown to be the number one way we do it. Now, this is where it becomes personal. We have to decide or know for ourselves what is our number one self-care trait? What is our number one self-care practice? What is the thing, whether it's sleep, exercise, yoga, meditation, prayer, whatever it is, the number one thing that we really know is absolutely the most important thing that we do in relationship to our self-care, that is the number one driver for zest. Now, <laughs> some, somebody might, or many of us might be saying, oh man, I haven't got a number one most important self-care trait. Well, this is an opportunity. This is a, an invitation to get really, really clear, really, really connected, and really, really excited about looking at a place in your life that you could say, you know what? I'm going all in. This is gonna become a non-negotiable every single day, whether it's dedicating myself to getting out for that walk in the morning, if it's uh, doing breathing practices in the afternoon, but I never miss the appointment for loving myself. And when I do, I will be increasing my zest. And that will actually increase my overall well-being, absolutely guaranteed. What well, they're basically talking about when we've actually identified that number one practice, it actually serves to this practice of physiology driving psychology. I know for a lot of us, and yeah, I've, I've often thought psychology is the number one driver to get my physiology going. I had to get my mind wrapped around getting my movement going in the morning or making sure before I open the refrigerator door, I've got my mind in the right place. Well, studies show more and more that if we get our physiology moving in the right direction, which is just doing something around self-care and self-love, it'll literally drive all kinds of wonderful psychological behaviors and choices thereafter. And they talk specifically about the increase in something called hope molecules. Just love that. Hope molecules being released when we follow through on this date of self-love and self-care every single day. And they want to talk about having a protocol. So they describe protocol as making sure that every single day you've woven in this practice. So it is a non-negotiable. It's an absolute. You're going to do it. You're going to follow through no matter what's happening in the world, especially when you're having a tough day, a challenging period of days, and you're going, oh my gosh, it's so easy to not do this, but I'm gonna absolutely work my protocol. I'm gonna have this algorithm for awesome, and I'm gonna follow through on this number one self-care trait. Oh gosh, you know, zest. A word that's, that's gonna have a comeback, right? We're all gonna start sharing, you know, what gives you zest? What's the uh, number one driver for zest? When you're talking to your friends and family and loved ones, this is beautiful. And I hope you take this to heart and I hope you weave this in to the fabric of your being like your best life depends on it because according to research, it very well may. Okay, much love, all blessings. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.